We're really excited because we are revamping our very popular hedge maze. Uh, it's a super popular part of people's visits here. It's been here since 2003. We hand planted 15,000 British beech trees and they've now grown up to form this really amazing hedge maze. But this summer we're revamping it with a new theme, new clues, this amazing entrance way behind me and a spectacular new nest tree house right in the centre of the maze using all local timber. Um, so we feel it's really beautiful stuff, it's really eye-catching but we're really proud of the fact that it's made in a sustainable way from local materials which is really in tune with the theme of our maze. Wildlife is a huge part of Noah's Ark and obviously we have all this amazing exotic wildlife with lions and bears and elephants and gibbons but we also really we're proud of the native wildlife we have. We're in a hundred acres of Somerset countryside here, We've got incredible animals that we're really proud of being part of conserving those animals. And so we wanted to celebrate that British wildlife theme with this maze. So we're naming it the Great British Wildlife Maze. After thinking about how we can improve the maze about four months ago, that took sort of two directions. One, how we can make it more fun and how we can make it um, more educational for the visitors. Um, at its planting, it was uh, the world's longest hedge maze. So it gives you some idea of the amount of maintenance that takes place here. Um, it's now the longest hedge maze in the UK. In the past, we've definitely got lost uh, fairly often. <laughs> um, nowadays, less so. We tend to know the routes fairly well. Relaunching the maze is really exciting actually. You get so many people come up to the maze and they see the new entrance, the new tower, and it's like, wow, let's go. And that's a fantastic feeling actually. You work really hard on trying to make this the best possible experience that we can for the members of the public. And it's great just to see their excitement. And we quite like the fact that the maze kind of grows out, gets a little bit shaggy at different times of year. That's part of the fun of it as well. It's a bit muddy. Um, so it's really something people, if you kind of immerse yourself in it, you can enjoy the fact that it's not only the longest maze in Britain, but it's also the wildest.